Generate to Fill has taken the Photoshop community by storm and since its initial release as a beta version, it has revolutionized the way I approach editing. Out of 100 editing tasks, I find myself using tool a staggering 95 times. It is a remarkable tool for various editing purposes such as background changes, logo design ideas, object removal and even generating new elements from scratch. This tool offers incredible versatility, allowing you to add, replace, extend or remove elements effortlessly. The best part is that it not only simplifies the editing process but also adds an element of enjoyment to it. But why am I making this video specifically for photographers? Well, my dear photographers, I have an exciting news for you. With generative fill and other cutting edge tech tools in Photoshop, we no longer need to delete those seemingly bad or useless photos. In fact, there are no bad or useless photos anymore. If the framing is wrong, you can easily fix it using crop and extend feature. If the distractions are present in your photos, fear not as you can effortlessly remove them. Let's take a look at an example photo, a person with a white substance on her face, perhaps caused by sunlight or light spots. I don't care what it is, all I wanted is clear and perfect portrait shot. Traditionally, we would simply delete such a photo, deeming it unworthy, but now we have the power to fix and enhance any type of photo with the latest tools in Photoshop. Allow me to demonstrate the traditional method we typically employ. First, we would add a new blank layer above the background depending on the specific needs of the image. We would utilize tools like the spot healing brush, remove tool, healing brush or patch tool. In this case, I will showcase the remove tool which is specifically designed to efficiently remove unwanted objects from the photo. To use this tool, we need to paint over the areas that require removal or fixing. It is essential to enable the sample all layers option in the menu bar. Let me demonstrate by painting over the problematic area like this. Now release the mouse and let Photoshop work its magic. The remove tool has done an impressive job here, but there are still some areas that require further attention. Let's see how it handles the remaining task. Let's paint over the eye area here as we did before. However, you will notice that the remove tool fails to fix this particular issue. Don't worry, we have an alternative tool that was added in the latest update called Generative Fill. Let me delete the previous layer and guide you through the process of using this tool to resolve the issue. First click on the quick mask button to enable the quick mask mode. Next select the brush tool and ensure that the opacity and flow are set to 100%. Now adjust the brush size according to your needs and carefully paint only the areas you want to fix, like this. Once you have finished painting, click the quick mask button again to disable the mode. Upon disabling it, you will notice two changes. Firstly, there will be a selection around the problem area. And secondly, a contextual taskbar will appear. If you don't see the contextual taskbar, simply go to the window menu and check the contextual taskbar option. Now take a look at the selection. It has chosen everything except the problem area. However, we need to select the problem areas. So click on the invert option, which will reverse the selection. Now it's time to click on the generate fill button. In the contextual taskbar, you will see a text entry prompt box. Here you can describe the object or scene you want to generate in your image using English language only. However, 
So here is the tip for you. If you prefer the selection to be filled based on the surroundings in your image, then feel free to leave the prompt box blank. So I'm going to leave this text prompt area blank so that I want to fill the selection based on the surroundings. Once you have provided the necessary input, click on the generate button. Prepare to be amazed as the generative fill produces its first variation. In this particular case, it has outperformed the remove tool, providing a highly satisfactory result. The thumbnail previews of the generated variations are conveniently displayed for your perusal. Simply click on a thumbnail to apply it and witness the remarkable difference. As I observe the final variation, I focus primarily on the eye shape and I must say it looks perfect. Let's select this variation as the ideal fix. You will notice that a new generator layer is created in the layers panel. This layer allows you to access the properties panel where you can view your mask and variations. Now you can easily make further adjustments according to your specific requirements. Let's take a closer look at the mask. Zooming in will reveal the finer details and you might notice that the AI generated results occasionally appear soft and slightly out of focus. Not to worry though as we can address this manually. To do so select the brush tool, change the foreground color to black and carefully paint along the edges of the soft areas sharpening them to perfection. And there you have it, my friends, the before and after comparison. Personally, I have fallen in love with this generative tool. I have incorporated it into nearly every editing project and I wholeheartedly recommend you to do the same to expedite your workflow and achieve outstanding results. I hope you enjoyed this video demonstration. If you are hungry for more AI powered content, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more future photoshop tutorials don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay updated with our latest videos thank you for watching and please show your support by liking sharing and commenting on this video i appreciate your support until next time take care happy editing